Hopefully all is well with you and yours. I am doing great. I am feeling great and I am looking great. And I'm really happy to be here with you today. Hopefully you'll say hi in the live chat. Don't be shy, okay? <laughs> Last week on September 17th was my 27th birthday. And when I woke up in the morning, I found that something that I have been wishing for for quite some time now had manifested overnight and really really excited about that and well you'll have to wait until next week to find out what i am talking about this week i have for you some footage from my awesome birthday adventure and i'm really excited to share it with you so, without further ado, here it is. <laughs> I am downtown Weed, and Mount Shasta is barely visible, but I am going on an adventure today for my birthday, and I am very excited about it, going somewhere new. So, when I get there, I will catch up with you. Did you know that the real Alex Jones was killed and replaced? He was what? Killed and, killed and replaced by a misinfo agent. He might be. Yeah. Pretty crazy. It's too bad. Crazy world we live in. Yeah, I actually really like the real Alex Jones. The first first versions. If you look up Who is Alex Jones by Queen and Anna Snow on YouTube, I play some really old videos of Alex Jones and show how they're like not even the same character, so it's pretty cool. You should look into it. I am at Hawthorne Park in downtown Bedford, and I just stopped at Northwest Pine Apple to get a dragonberry bowl, and I am really glad that I did. This is delicious. The bottom is uh, dragonberry, uh, pineapple, and apples. There's strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, uh, granola, and some vegan chocolate. And uh, this plastic is actually made from plants. It turns into a soil in a commercial composting system, which is really awesome. So, it makes it even better. Yum! Happy birthday to me. Here I am at the beginning of the walking trail here for my birthday adventure. I'm really excited. Not only have I not been here before in this cycle, but ancient wisdom has been promised to me. So I am very excited. I also got <laughs> a rather large lunch and I should have put it into a backpack, but I didn't, so. <laughs> I'm really excited. little path here. Birds are heavy.
It has been a very fun birthday so far, and there is still more planned for after this adventure. So, I'm very excited. I have been talking to my family members today, and basically saying that my only birthday wish is for them to allow me to have a vegan Christmas with them and I'll make all of their favorite dishes in a vegan version and impress them. I literally host full moon events on the top of Mount Shasta and I cook for hundreds of people and I've never cooked for my own family, even back in the day when I lived there. I wasn't much of a cook, so this whole, pretty much everything about my life, my lifestyle is very new to them and is shocking. They're very shocked to hear that people have said that my food is the best that they've ever had, so yeah. My cousin and my mom, both, well, and my sister as well, all said that they were definitely on board for a vegan Christmas. So, as long as I get my immediate family to consent and agree to having vegan Christmas with me, then it'll be a lot easier when I go there to force it on the rest of my family. They see each other all the time anyways, so it's not like we can't just suck it up or choose not to come to my vegan Christmas celebration. Yay! I'm gonna keep going down there and just see what else I can find. I should have came earlier in the day when it was warmer so that I would not freeze in the water. That is beautiful. I'll leave my bag. Definitely makes me thank my creator for creating it and the goddess for being it. 
gonna go up there and continue my journey down and see what this path has for you and me. Alright, let's continue on down. I've always really wanted to go whitewater rafting. I've been canoeing many times. When I was growing up, my parents actually would take us canoeing, and the last time that we went, my sister and I were in the same canoe, and we were like rowing backwards really fast, and basically bored of going forwards and having a lot of fun. I told people that we were training for the Olympics as a joke, obviously. The Olympics are a joke. <clears throat> as with all of the sports and things on your television, they are all there to pacify you. The circus and peanuts used to keep the slaves, you know, just happy enough that they don't revolt regardless of what is happening to them. great that we live in a time where there are so many channels on YouTube, for instance, or other video platforms with people like myself that are speaking the truth, trying to deprogram people from all of the satanic crap that we have been brainwashed with. And speak the truth of our reality to change the world, and we are changing the world. Thank you for all of your support, and for sharing, and liking my videos, and chatting with me, and enjoying this life journey with me. I appreciate it, and I look forward to the future and what we manifest together. It's really exciting to see veganism on the rise. I understand that for many people, going vegan seems very foreign. They think that they can never go vegan. It is just such a massive shift from where they currently are. They don't know they can't picture themselves getting there. They don't know where to even start. So like, if you start with just one thing, go out and, you know, the next time that you're in the grocery store, when you're in the frozen food section, there's a vegan section there, uh, and they have all sorts of plant-based meats that you can try, and you know, use the same spices and stuff that you use now to season the dead animals to use that on the plant-based meat and uh, just try it. It would be even better if you got recipes to make your own from scratch, but I know that is even harder for some people and extremely inconvenient during the golden age not only I hear the rushing water not only will the queen's kitchen be available everywhere for free anytime you're hungry delicious vegan foods but um, the grocery stores and other fast food restaurants fast food and restaurants i guess uh, that other people are inspired to open. There are many of you that are aspiring chefs or 
Right. Maybe you already are a chef and you want to have your own place in the future, your own restaurant, and that is something that I want to help you, a goal that I want to help you uh, fulfill and support that. I want to support the best of everyone and their dreams and help them to succeed at their dreams to the best of our abilities with all these free resources that we have. <sighs> Just really, really excited about this waterfall right now. Holy crud! <laughs> I did not actually think that coming to a waterfall would make me cry, but holy crap! Gotta be really careful not to drop my cameras down there. I'm gonna try to see what you're seeing. Yeah. Wow. Continue down the path to this way, I think. That was amazing. down this path. Let's see what's up here. So we have this path here, but while I was standing out here, I noticed this path, and <laughs> kind of want to take this path, but if it gets too sketchy, I'm going to have to turn around and go the other way because it was channeled to me that I need to have a safety first today, especially. Water is beautiful. Gotta <laughs> take a second to get myself together before we continue.
water over there kind of looks blue. The view from up there was better, but this is still beautiful. find somewhere to sit down and munch on my lunch. <laughs> Part of the picnic that I brought with me to this lovely location is <laughs> really ridiculous and unnecessary amount of avocado chocolate. I definitely could have just brought a small portion, but whatever. Uh, and um, I brought some strawberries to go with them and grapes on the bottom. I brought some carrots and cucumber with some ranch and cheese as well. I'm gonna get to that in a second. But I'm gonna be a little bit naughty and have the dessert before I have the main part of my meal because avocado, chocolate, and strawberries is just delicious. Oh, I get every last bit of this strawberry. It's so tasty. All right. Let me be good now and have my... <laughs> the most ironic part is that the whole thing is good because... They're literally fruits. This is what you are supposed to eat. People think that this is, you know, not something that you should fill up on and it's full of bad sugars and all this stuff, but in reality, this is what we were made to eat and the sugars in uh, fruits that are naturally occurring are nothing compared... Oh, I almost dropped the bowl. Nothing compared to the processed sugars that are usually non-vegan. They use animal parts to process the sugar, which is disgusting. So next time you're at the store, you could just buy raw sugar if you are still consuming sugar and just, you know, take baby steps, try to veganize yourself over time and you're going to become healthier over time and become the best you that you can be. So, I have my main course over here. I have been experimenting with sunflower seeds. <laughs> um, I read that they are a uh, cheaper alternative to cashews, so um, I wanted to try to make some of my same delicious recipes that I make with cashews with sunflower seeds. And uh, what I ended up with, I have this tastes a lot better than it looks, I promise. And usually it's not so oily, but anyways. I made the Kick Ace raw cheese ball cheese recipe with sunflower seeds, and it actually works really well to cover up the sunflowery taste. That is originally what I didn't like about using sunflowers instead, um, but if you just add more spices, I found that it definitely tones down the sunflowers and leaves you with something that is really delicious. Sunflowers are, like I was saying, they're a lot more uh, inexpensive than cashews and if you are a vegan prepper like me, having sunflower seeds in bulk is something that will definitely help to uh, make the time when crap hits the fan a lot more enjoyable. Uh, we're about to be tested in many ways. A famine is coming, so please prepare. Obviously, rice and beans is a really cheap, usually, uh, way that you can get a lot of food for very little. But if you want to actually, you know, enjoy your time a little bit more, you can stock up on the, you know, uh, ingredients 
for these delicious sauces and dips and grow your own veggies and have them have pasta with sauce. Um, Harmony House has textured veggie proteins that you can buy fake meats to uh, help uh, pass the uh, help just make it a little bit better you know I'm not planning on being completely raw vegan when crap hits the fan I assure you that I will be vegan like I'm extremely stubborn on that front and I will eat grass I will the human body can go a very long time without food at the end of the day so when uh, there is a scarcity you know I will push myself to the limit before I break my moral code so all of my prepping everything that I'm burying and planning for my family to survive on is vegan and I have shared a full list I'll just throw some of the things up here that I have put into my box I have a bread in bread from a box video where I make bread with all of these ingredients that you can store long term and bury in your yard so that when food confiscations happen you can let them take what they can find you can say okay just leave us in peace and go and then you can live to see another day you can live to keep fighting we have to play our cards right many of us came here to fight back against the darkness and to create a better world a golden age of peace prosperity and the protection of innocence many people however still do not remember why they came here what they're doing who they are and the number one thing that you can do to uh, get yourself on the path to remembering and connecting with your soul is to stop consuming fluoride they put it in they try to put it in everything in your water in um, you know fruit juices that you buy from the store when they are cooking things prepared food they try to get it into everything to control the population to help dumb us down to disconnect us from our true selves our soul and uh, when you uh, stop consuming fluoride in your toothpaste even um, you will start to reconnect with your soul and remember why you came here and you will naturally uh, want to stop being a clown You'll want to stop putting the corpses of a slaughtered innocence into your temple. You'll treat your temple better. You'll want to actually be concerned with your soul. When you uh, eat animals, when you consume their byproducts that are meant, you know, they have those growth hormones, the growth factors in them, uh, you are not only uh, prematurely aging yourself, bringing about diseases and early physical death, but you're also bringing about the death of your soul. This is not just a game that is all about the physical and nothing happens after you die. Your soul will hopefully continue on, but if you continue down the path of darkness, if you continue making yourself into a clown, if you continue doing evil, there's only so dark your soul is going to allow you to get before it doesn't want to exist anymore. So if you haven't stopped consuming fluoride yet, please, please do. And after that you will start to become the best you that you can be and truly find purpose in life which will uh, help you uh, see the light at the end of the tunnel all of this darkness that we're going to have to fight through many people won't be fighters they will sacrifice their morals they'll put their masks on they'll end up playing a Russian roulette with the vaccines because they don't want to rock the boat they'll just lay down and die they're not gonna fight I encourage you to fight to uh, do something that will make your soul proud when you uh, pass on to the other side because you're going to be the one that judges you the harshest 
and you're gonna look back on your life and you're gonna either say, wow, I lived and died as a clown. I didn't do anything that I uh, intended to go in there to do. I just uh, made myself into the clown that the spiritual world laughed at. I embarrassed my soul. Or you can say, all right, I was born into a world of clowns. I spent a little bit of time as a clown, but then I reconnected with my true self. I found my purpose and I became something great. Something that's not a clown, for instance. <laughs> Becoming the best you that you can be. Then you can be proud of yourself and we can truly change the world. In this thermos, I have some delicious apple juice that was made this morning with apples from my own orchard. I, uh, a while back, shared a recipe, a magical detox potion, if you will, and basically uh, you mix carrots with lemon and as much ginger as you can take and uh, I was before using uh, oranges but I spent a lot of money <laughs> on oranges and uh, my apples my apple orchard finally came uh, produced really delicious fruits and um, I have been using those apples to make my juices daily for over a month now and eating them with some peanut butter it's become one of my favorite snacks so uh, yeah, my apple orchard really has impressed me this year and I know going forward with more water they will all be producing a lot more fruit and I look forward to growing more of my own food and encouraging other people now and in the golden age to also grow their own food. Uh, we're going to bring back some ancient agricultural knowledge and uh, really turn uh, any place into a food forest and make it so that no one has to go without. There's food growing everywhere and we can bring in some really uh, delicious new restaurants and fast food vegan options that will make it super convenient like I was talking about earlier many of you dream of having your own restaurants and whatnot and the golden age is the time for dreamers to dream and see those dreams come to fruition so it's really an exciting time to be alive and it is there are a few things that are uh, worth dying for, you know, uh, that are uh, more important than the golden age. It is something that is worth dying for. It is a better future for you, for your children, for your children's children. A world where humans and animals can be free and enjoy mother nature like me and uh, live happily ever after. <laughs> what a beautiful place. It's getting a little bit cold though and the sun is going down quickly so I'm going to find somewhere else to enjoy my strawberries and avocado chocolate and I will catch up with you there. This is what wine and apple juice from my orchard <laughs> looks like. Unfiltered apple juice, pure apple juice. It does not look like what you buy at the store and the crap that you buy at the store. Uh, many times it's from concentrate. You're not even actually like having real juice. You're not getting this real life force energy that comes when you uh, literally 
pick an apple from the tree and cut it up and put it into the juicer and then drink it. Like, that is really a blessing to have, and I really hope that in the future people take the time in the golden age to, you know, grow their own food and have those sorts of those uh, sorts of resources in their backyard as well. They can go and pick their own apples and other trees, fruit trees and uh, veggies and everything. You can be proud of that to grow your own food. So this layering effect comes from the unfiltered apple juice sitting around for a while, and well, <laughs> what the good stuff looks like, people, okay, you've been trained to think that it looks like this, oh wait, well this is good stuff too, because they don't fluoridate their water either, so, <laughs> But yeah, that apple juice that you buy at the store that's nearly clear is junk. Stop poisoning your body if you want to become the best you that you can be. It is overwhelming the amount of poison in everything. So like, you don't know where to start being vegan because every single thing is like tainted with animal products. But taking the baby steps, doing one thing at a time, and then you'll find yourself fully vegan and you'll realize how easy it actually was, how worth the journey it was, and how much better you are, not only physically, but at a soul level. You'll be something that you can be proud of instead of someone who preys on the weak to feel strong like a coward. The dragonberry bowl that I had earlier from the Northwest Pineapple was definitely better than the one that I had from the spinach place. Um, one of the main differences is the spinach place, it was primarily granola at the bottom, which don't get me wrong, it's really delicious. Uh, but if you're trying to be more raw vegan, then uh, that's not the way to go. The uh, one from Northwest Pineapple only had a little bit of granola as a topping sprinkled on top, so I don't feel as guilty about that. Plus, that bowl was huge, and it was really good. Like, full of life force energy and definitely well worth the drive to Medford and the price and well I can't say that my dinner is uh is it raw till four isn't that a thing like okay well it's 7 48 so I did that right <laughs> baby steps no uh but yes thank you so much oh yum Thank you so much. He's very strong. <laughs> Get the guys to deliver. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Like I was saying, my dinner is not raw vegan. But really, that jicama, those raw nachos that I had in Hollywood, it was amazing. I've been looking for places to find uh, buy jicama and, well, Easier said than done, but yum. Once I can find the jicama, trust me, it's on. Yum. These nachos and the cheese remind me of this place called Chi Chi's that my family used to eat at when I was younger. I'm not sure why they ended up closing down like all the chain restaurants, but yeah, we used to get this um, nacho cheese and it would come in a uh, chip bowl, tortilla bowl. I don't know how to 
whatever it's called or whatever. But the point is that it brings back good memories, so I'm happy to enjoy it. Yay! Ada brought over the patty melts. I'm really excited. Yum. That is really good. This Mac Daddy Patty Mel, <laughs> that's what it's called, is so good. Like, I want to savor these last few bites. They are really hitting the spot right now. I know I'm being naughty, but at the end of the day, as long as it's vegan, people... Oh, sandwich is falling apart. People all over the world have different tastes. Maybe you like barbecue. I got my barbecue, you know, held. <laughs> with the barbecue sauce. Um, so, the golden age, though, will have barbecue sauce for you. It will just be vegan. It'll have these things that you still love in a vegan version. So, I know that that sounds... People can't even fathom that you could make something delicious that's vegan, okay? There's been a lot of programming. What, what is that one that comedian on YouTube, I don't really know what their name is because I think they're really stupid and I don't ever really a sarcastic sense of humor. I'm not really sure what the person is, but anyways. They say, like, I'm going to make a vegan cake or something, and then they just put, like, a pile of raw carrots, and they're like, I love being vegan, and they're just, like, uh, making a total stupid thing that everything that you love now uh, pretty much can be made in a vegan version. I have seen ribs on popsicle sticks, vegan ribs, okay, like... There are so many possibilities at your fingertips if you just search, like, vegan ribs recipe and hit enter. You're going to come up with some search results, and you'll find some very interesting things. You'll be like, wow, really? I didn't think that you could, you know, why don't you become a, a chef instead of consuming the flesh of the innocent, something boring and disgusting, really. You've been eating the same things your whole life. You're not into trying anything new, just one, one thing, you know? Maybe you don't like it, maybe you do, maybe these are vegan ribs, I've never tried vegan ribs, I don't really like, I've never eaten anything off the bone to begin with, I think it, I always thought it was really creepy, I said you might as well gnaw, like cut off your arm and I will gnaw on your arm if I'm gonna eat chicken off a bone, it's just like, eating off a bone is really weird, but, People have found that you can create the same, you know, effect for your mind by using the popsicle sticks and having something that is plant-based. So you can get away from consuming the flesh of the innocent, feminizing yourself, becoming more girly, and ultimately, uh, you know, aging your physical self, prematurely killing yourself physically and on a soul level. Do you really want to be a clown? Or wouldn't you want to uh, live for a long time in a better world that we create together? If humans, I mean, most people uh, have already read uh, the Bible where humans were living 500 or longer years, the ancient wisdom that was channeled to me before was that humans are able to live hundreds of years and they don't even fully mature until they're 200. So if you want to continue down the path that you are on, you're going to die, age and die prematurely. You're not going to be your best self. And you're going to 
destroy your soul by uh, being evil. What do you think oh, you're gonna want for dessert? Um, were there anything, any options that were even vegan? That I think the chocolate, chocolate lava okay. cake. Wait, really? the ice cream you couldn't have and whipped cream you couldn't have. So the chocolate cake itself is vegan? Let me go look. I know it's good. I'm a little bit apprehensive because I don't want my birthday to be made, me made into a clown on my birthday. What I actually was going to say when I started recording was that this apple juice would be a thousand times better if I did not uh, corrupt it with this Chardonnay. I don't like the taste of any wine. Uh, that I've ever had, really. Um, I always dilute them with some sort of fruit juice, usually orange juice, but sometimes apple juice. Speaking of orange juice, I had some amazing mandarin juice this morning. It was really awesome. But alcohol is a tool. Like any tool, it can be used for good or evil. Having a glass of wine or two every now and then, it can help people come out of their shell, I can give them the courage to sing karaoke or do whatever they're doing, have a good time like I am doing tonight, but obviously uh, it can be abused, people getting drunk, I don't ever get drunk, I hate being drunk, and I don't like to be around drunk people either, so that abuse of it drinking liquor is on the abusive side of the scale. Wine and beer are on the okay side of the scale to kick back and have a good time. During the golden age, I am obviously not against having a good time, partying and drinking some wine or beer and relaxing and enjoying life. Some people need that to enjoy life. It wouldn't be a golden age without that. All of these things, though, will be made in vegan versions. And at the end of the day, in the world would you want a uh, wine that is uh, fined through like a fish bladder or anything, animal bits and pieces, especially when it doesn't have to be? Well, I'm actually not, uh, I still have a lot more food left to eat, so I'm good on that. Actually, uh, the blue one looks really tempting, but, uh, I will let me know. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I wonder where those came from. Some employee brought them, and, like, they were just randomly in the back. I still have a lot more food to eat, and I'm going to be taking some of it home after I eat as much as possible, because, well, it's my birthday, and I really enjoy eating. If you haven't picked that up by now, my whole Hollywood trip, I tried, well, you haven't seen the footage yet, yeah, but <laughs> I just was bouncing. There's over a hundred fully vegan places in the Hollywood area, so as much of a hell as that place is, is smells like a hot piss all the time. It had, like, so many uh, vegan options. It was like, oh, Angela Courses, uh, Courses, Courses, well, Courses too, Courses of food going in my mouth and yummy in my tummy. All right. <laughs> I can't wait till the golden age, because one thing that I like to do is eat, and especially Making all of these delicious raw options, if you can get them in raw vegan options so that they're actually purifying your body as you just uh, graze all day like a cow, that sounds like a golden age. More like it than the crap that we have going on. Who in the world wants to work a 9 to 5 and be a slave to uh, the powers that be working for money meaninglessly? No one. No soul chose to come into this world for that reason. If you can get that through your mind and stop drinking fluoride, you will be really far along on your path.
some people think that if you don't work, you don't eat, and that everybody needs to, you know, do their part. And I do encourage hard work. It makes you feel good at the end of the day if you did a hard day of work. But you shouldn't have to do that work in order to make sure that you and your children are fed and have a roof over your head and have the things that you need. Because Mother Earth supplies all of these things for free for us. Yes, it takes effort to go and create these things, but as I have said many times before, I'm into robots, and taking this work that humans are currently having to do like slaves and letting robots do it. And for those of you who still want to work, obviously no one is stopping you. You go ahead and do what you want to do. Like no one, no one's gonna say you can't work if you don't want to. But for those of you who don't want to, those of you who have different dreams than the normal, those of you who are artists and musicians and anything that in this world you can't make it unless you're a tranny, the golden age is your time to shine because those. Those rules won't be in place, and like I was saying before, it's a time where people who have dreams can uh, will use the resources that Mother Earth gives us to support those people, to uh, help those people to the best of our abilities to make their dreams come true, to make their souls happy, because if you are not doing what you came here to do, your soul is not going to be happy, it's not going to who would want to live a thousand years if you had to work a nine to five every day and could you had to wear a mask and you had to barely make ends meet working all the time that's not a golden age my soul wouldn't want to live there either and i wouldn't want that for my children i wouldn't want to bring my children into a world where they are forced to be slaves so it's exciting to know that together we have the opportunity to change the future, to steer away from the new world order path that we are currently, well, actually, we're not on that path. Many of us have been on a different path for a very long time, and we basically are pulling the rest of the herd with us, and I know it's uh, People don't want to think of humans as a herd, but they kind of really are. And humans are made by our creator to to seek a leader. And, I mean, if you look at other wild animals, many of them get in packs with a leader as well. So it's not something that is foreign to creation, it is an integral part of creation in many species, including humans. So that is why there needs to be, well, there is a queen, and there needs to be a queen because the Golden Age can't happen without one. The innocents aren't going to be protected without one. Many of you may think of yourselves as militant vegans, but have you ever literally shoved people out of your sacred circle for having vegan food? Are you willing to get into physical altercations because of your vegan morals? A lot of people say that's extreme, but it's like, if any normal average Joe was like walking down the road and you see someone like kicking their dog or abusing a pet, like an, an a dog or a cat literally in front of you? Are you going to walk by and say nothing? How are you going to feel in that situation? What would you do? Would you say something at least? Like, hey dude, what are you doing? Would you be willing to go to fight for that animal that is being abused? If not, it does say a lot about your character. But... There are some of us in this world that are willing to fight for the, uh, not only the innocent humans who can't defend themselves, babies, children, even the unborn in the womb, but also the babies of other species that can't fight back, that can't protect themselves. They want to be free too, just like you. They deserve to be free. No, no species was put on this earth for humans. 
cows existed a lot earlier than humans did. You know how ridiculous it is? I mean, people are going to think that me even saying this is ridiculous, but for the cows who have existed a lot longer than humans to, to like hear the human saying, you exist solely for us, it's like, wow, you guys are ignorant. You're still wet behind the ears. And you want to say that we were created for you? Huh. Okay. That's cute. Humans making a claim to anything on Mother Earth is... I mean, if they're coming from a human standpoint, it's really ridiculous. Because... Humans are the most recent of Yaws in creation, and other species existed center stage uh, before humans. Like the dragons. So, Mount Shasta, for instance, has been, you know, many entities make claim to it, and many want to say, oh, our families were here, our people were here for a long time, but it's like, <laughs> okay. But if you're coming at it from a knowledge of there were other species that were here before humans, like, they have already made claim to this land, and uh, my soul is one of them. My soul is older than dirt. I have been connected to that mountain since it was created. So my soul has ties to it, and I am willing to fight, kill, and die for it. This goes farther than uh, just a human cycle cycle of time, period of time. This goes farther than just physical. It's like the mother's soul is on the line. So if we don't fight for her, she might not choose to be physical matter again. It is a dire situation that we are in. I do not take it lightly. Yes, I like to come out and have fun and have a drink on my birthday. And, well, I like to come out as many as often as I can, not only because I love coming out and having other people, you know, take care of the dishes and all that fun stuff. I just get to pay them a lot of money to do it. But the time where we live in this world as it is, is coming to an end. In many ways, it's sad, but in many more ways, it's the best thing ever because we're going to go into a golden age where the innocents are protected. We can recreate these these restaurants, these these things that we love now can all be recreated in a vegan way. Not only that, but the technology that we use, your computer, your car, all these things can be made to last. Imagine that. Imagine creating something that doesn't break within 10 years. I know, I know, it's like blowing your minds right now to even think of this concept because the world that we live in, it's like everything breaks. I'm being a little bit sarcastic, you know, just being funny, but yeah, imagine having a computer that actually lasts for over a hundred years, not, I'm kind of holding my own computer because it's already, it's not even a year old and it's already starting to have issues, so... All of these things are designed to break, and in the golden age, we can change that. Thank you so much. The worst part about drinking fresh juice is that the bottom layer becomes like sludge slash pulp. And I don't know about you, but I like my drinks pulp-free and not sludge. <laughs> I am finishing the last few bites of this delicious sandwich. It's not something that I am going to have often. I've been trying to get more and more raw vegan and purify my diet because I know that my soul will ultimately be the happiest when I am the purest. Virgo, uh, Virgo's soul seeks to purify, so... The drive to purify is really what pushes me. Some other, you know, other signs see things differently. So they might see 
me and say, okay, well, she talks about purification now, but when she gets a power, what will she really be like? It's like, at a soul level, my soul wants to purify and make a better world. So it's not that I'm going to be like a politician and say one thing now and become the queen in full power and act differently. I know that I'm being watched and judged. I know that the spiritual world is real. I know that ultimately I'm going to judge myself after this life. And if I don't live up to my full potential, if I don't do what my soul is pushing me to do, if I don't create a golden age of peace, prosperity, and the protection of innocence, I'm going to be severely disappointed in myself. And I know that a lot of people have put their hope in me and in my uh, drive towards the golden age. So I know that there's a lot of people that would be disappointed too if I stopped. And also the animals. The animals know who, when it comes down to it, will protect them. Who will shove people out of their circle to defend them. So they, if they had a ballot to, fi to fill out for votes for the queen, they would definitely choose me, and your soul knows it. We can make a world that makes the animals happy, and make a world that makes you happy, and a better world for our future children. I definitely want to have a children someday, and, well... I'm not interested in dating right now. It's not the time for dating. It's the time for war right now. But during the golden age, I obviously will be looking to settle down. And well, I want to have a baby and have fun practicing making babies. If you're obviously smart enough to know what I'm saying. Um, but... Um, people ask me often what kind of guy I'm attracted to, and as far as, uh, you know, personal appearance, I am attracted to guys of all types. It's not about any personal attribute or feature, you know, ultimately it's about the soul that's inside. You can be, you know, what most people in the world considers not beautiful and have a beautiful soul that you know you have the drive the willpower to want to be the best you that you can be if you have enough willpower you can literally do anything you can become the best anything well or very good at anything and you can go vegan. Ultimately, uh, the veganism issue is a deal breaker for me. I would never even consider dating a boy who puts meat into his mouth. I'm into boys that like girls. <laughs> and uh, not just a guy who, you know, has the willpower to change himself and be, be the best him that he can be, but a guy that loves me for who I am, not just for my looks, but for the soul inside, someone who sees who I am and supports me and what my soul came here to do. I want to support him and what his soul came here to do as well. It's a uh, mutually beneficial relationship where you can grow together and create something beautiful. I am completely against the random hookups and degenerate culture that we have going on where you swipe right or left to hook up with people that you don't even know and you just have one night stands with girls that you don't even remember her name. Like, no thanks, hard pass, I'm a Virgo. And that kind of behavior bothers me at a core level. I don't want to get into it because I know that everyone has been over-sexualized and everybody has made their mistakes. 
future is about, you know, recognizing that those are mistakes and doing better. In the golden age, we will teach sexual purity instead of degeneracy, this hookup culture, all that crap. It's going to be a thing of the past. In the golden age, we will encourage, you know, fruitful relationships. Not just fruitful as in they bear children, but they bring about the best you that you can be. It's a relationship where you build each other up, and when you have sex, which is great, sex is awesome, right? When you come together in that sort of relationship that builds each other up, the sexual interactions that you have will be uplifting. It's not about... Like, modern-day pornography is a very anti-female, putting females down and abusing them. And the ironic part about it is that porn stars are male. If you haven't checked out my Transvestigation 101 video, I will leave a link below, because the mainstream, you know, the top porn actors are actually boys dressed as girls, okay, so, yeah, do you really want to be lusting and masturbating over a dude in drag getting pounded by another dude, like, anyways, sexual purity will be promoted in the golden age, and obviously I want a guy who is on board with that, I don't want a guy who watches porn behind my back and is lusting after over other girls, like, if that's just not my... I want a guy who is on the same path as me. And ultimately, with the will, there's always a way. If your name is Will, there's always a way with you. <laughs> just kidding, but uh, you get my point. If you will, if you wish to be better, then you can be better. The only thing that is holding you back is you. And ultimately, you can be my dream guy if you will it. If you take the steps to change yourself and become the best you that you can be. Because that's ultimately what I'm attracted to. What I am turned on by is a guy that is living by his soul's true purpose. Someone who is passionate about defending the innocence. Not just a passive, uh, or even a corpse muncher, like I said before, that is not even on the table, but I am a militant vegan, so any guy that's gonna be like, whoa, tone it down, or try to suppress that, it's not gonna fly with me, like, I want a man who's on the same path as me, the same morals, so that we can actually create a family, a long-lasting relationship together, instead of all, uh, shallow, meaningless relationships that are here today, gone tomorrow in this world. There's not many people left. Well, I guess I don't, I don't really know. I don't have the statistics, but when I look into the world, it doesn't seem like there's many people left that have those same dreams that, you know, actually want uh, to settle down, but then again, they've all been programmed and broken and moved away from what their soul's true intent is, right? Like, what soul really at a, at a fundamental level doesn't want someone who they vibe with that they can grow and survive with? Like, I don't know. I think that true love and wanting that kind of companionship is pretty ingrained in us, even though we have been programmed by society and over-sexualized, and many have been trained to think that the hookup thing is just okay. Well, it's not. And in the golden age, which I cannot wait to get there, we will make sure that children are taught that sex is a connection that's not only physical, but emotional, mental, and ultimately a soul connection. And especially if you create life with somebody, that is a soul bond that, I mean, you can't go back from that. Obviously, in this culture, they have abortion and whatnot, but in the golden age, that's not going to be the case. It's not going to be promoted to kill your own unborn children. That's Satan's favorite form of child sacrifice is when a mother 
willingly goes in and basically, like, begs someone to kill her unborn child. That whole concept has always been very foreign to me because I am so connected to my maternal instincts. Uh, the safest place for a baby should be in its mother's womb, and I just really look forward to getting pregnant and going through the whole pregnancy experience as a raw vegan and uh, just enjoying the miracle that is making a baby and all that fun stuff. So I look forward to that and it really upsets me, this culture where people are, you know, thinking that they need to cry on the streets for the supposed right to kill their unborn child. It bothers me at a soul level, and it has to change. It will change. I have the will to change it, and, well, I will drag the rest of the human species along with me as I rise in purification. There are people that are going to be left behind, and there are people that are going to soar with me and rise to be the best that they can be and to create a better world. Which group will you be a part of? When I was recording the laws of absolutism, I asked the spiritual world how Sophia became physical matter, how she came into existence, which it's a multi-part multi question because I want to know how she actually became physical matter, but I also want to know how our souls came into existence. Um, but was channeled to me tonight is that Sophia became a physical matter because she willed it. So it goes along with all of the other things that I've been talking to talking about today about will and how your will uh, causes well, it can literally change the world. We are changing the world. And it's really exciting to know that, that will can change. You can do anything if you have the will to do it. So no matter how dark and desperate things seem, just remember that if you have the will to make it through and, well, be a better you, you can ultimately do that. You can do what you set your mind to if you have the willpower to do it. I can't hear myself. I can't hear myself. I dream of you again. I dream of you again. Don't you know I dream about you, girl? Fantasy girl, you come into my world and I cry. You come alive. Don't you know I dream about you, girl? Fantasy girl, you come into my world at night time You come alive Visions of you Dancing in my brain Dancing in my brain Oh God, let me hold you oh God, let me hold you Cause you're driving me insane You're driving me insane Don't you know I dream about you, girl? Girl, you come into my world at night time. Night time, you come alive. Don't you know I dream about you, girl? Fantasy girl, you come into my world at night time.